Welcome, my viewers and my listeners of the program Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. I'm your presenter, Pastor Florence Minor, and I'm broadcasting live all the way from Minnesota, USA. First and foremost, I want to take this opportunity to tell you thank you very much for always putting up with me, listening, watching, and sharing, and also sending a word of encouragement. If this word speaks to you, please let me know. It is very, very important because I know God always prepare a word with somebody in a Jeddah. That could be some, that could be you. Don't wait somebody else. If the word speaks to you, oh, let's know and we give all glory to God. The title of my message today will be, When God Calls. Then you can continue there, depending on where you are at. Let us start with a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for who you are and what you mean in my life. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to share your word with your people. Should there be somebody out there who is struggling and wondering whether God has uh, God, you have called them. May they know that God from the time immemorial you have called men and women to serve you, oh God. And that's why even many have gone ahead and composed the song when he calls me, I'll answer. It is my prayer that God you shall remove every confusion and every spirit of fear that bites many that he cannot take a step, oh God. I want to thank you and to adore you. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus from the hairs of my head to the toes of my feet uh, that as I share I shall share under the protection uh, of the blood of Jesus I speak as better thing and under the anointing of the Holy Spirit uh, I come against every spirit that come to bring destruction and confusion uh, in the name of Jesus amen and amen my words of reference is going to be from the book of Isaiah 48 I'm going to re read first one uh, first, sorry first 12 to 16 to 17 but i would urge you please read the entire chapter uh it says listen to me O jacob and israel my god i am he i am the first i am the last also the last indeed my hand has has laid the foundations of the earth and my right hand has stretched out the heavens when i call them they stand up together all of you assemble yourself and hear who among them has has declared these things the lord loves him he shall do his pressure on Babylon, and his arm shall be against the champions. I, even I, have spoken. Yes, I have called him. I have brought him, and, has, and his way will prosper. Come near to me. Hear this. I have not I have not spoken in secret from the beginning. Oh, I like that. From the time that it was, I was there, and now the Lord God and his Spirit have sent me. Verse 17. Thus says the Lord, you are Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord your God, who teaches you to profit, who leads you by the way you should go. Oh, mm. I'm gonna, um, I'm feeling tempted to continue, but let me just read 18. Oh, that you had heeded my commandments, then your peace would have been like a river, and your righteousness like the waves of the sea. May the Lord bless this one. Please, I would urge you to read the entire chapter. And before I continue, I want to share with you a song that it's part of my sharing. It is good you realize the time you are living in so that you can serve god when you still have the strength stop saying you do not know whether god has called you he has called you if you do not know i have affirmed that he has called you as a servant of the most high god in jesus name Let us serve the Lord. Let us 
answer when the lord speak listen when the lord says go when the lord says you are blessed believe it when the lord says that you'll make it believe it whose report will you believe going back to our text hmm. listen this is god saying listen to me oh jacob can you listen when god is speaking he is speaking using little ones i get so much excited when i see young kids 11 year olds and 10 year olds like when i mentor or pastor aiden ogoro when they are preaching the word of god yet they are men and women they are still saying they are not called i want to remind you that god started calling us and when you if you know if you want our word of reference it's from the book of Jeremiah. God told Jeremiah, behold, I called you and I anointed you. I ordained you even before you are born in your mother's womb. God has called you, my brother, my sister. You may ask me, what has he called me to do? Look around you. Look around you. You're going to see all the doors have been opened. God has opened a door. There is somebody who is walking in your neighborhood or with their faces down. They feel like they're talking to themselves just by saying, hi, how are you? That will start a conversation. You know, preaching the word of God is not complicated. But people tend to complicate it. You don't have to go to a theology school. All you have to do is to go to the neology. Oh, the, the courage of being on the knees. You will pray and God will give you a word. Among many things <clears throat> that I was reading for my personal Bible study, is this first and it stuck with me. Yes, God, when God calls, can you answer? When God speaks, can you hear? Oh, he says, he, oh my goodness, he says, this here, the assurance here. I am he, I am the first, I am also the last. Mm. Indeed, my hands has laid the foundation of the other. Where you are, maybe you are feeling there is, a, there is a separation between religion and state. No, there isn't. It is you who make it. You listen to that report because I love the Christian. I love the Muslim brethren because they know who they are. If it is their time to pray, no, but nothing will stop. One time I was in a clinic and I was in registration and somebody came. There was a Muslim I could identify. And then, the, of course, they registered. And when the time came for them to be called, God. Oh, no, the, the, actually that person told me, oh, when they come to call me, oh, I am there praying. The, he, she had her mat praying, you know, and when the person came to call to go uh, wherever they needed to go, he said, oh, he's there praying. Oh, 
they had to be given the respect. You know what? Tumefanya mungu adharauriwe kwa sababu ya uoga wapedwa. Mm. We have made God not to be respected because we fear. Why are you fearing? And that's why I would encourage you to get yourself a book. I've shared so many things that I went through fear and how I overcome it using the word of God. You can do it. It is called Fear Not God is in Charge. You can find it in Amazon, eBay. Uh, uh, the price is $13.95 and in, it's also in a form of ebook, uh, which is $3.99. When you said, when you buy it, please send a review and say what it has uh, how it has blessed you in Jesus' name. What am I trying to say? Fear not. You know, somebody will come in their job, their time, but as long as one is praying to the maker, to the one they believe, because we are all, we, we all have three dimensions. We have the physical. That's why I have put on my smart outfit. If you don't think it's smart, actually it is smart because I looked at myself in the mirror, I chose it in the closet. That is the confidence we need to have. You know, they know themselves, knowing you who you are. And you know, when we reach that situation, that you don't wait other people to approve you, that when you know that God has approved you, you'll be able not to fear and you can answer without consulting. When God calls you and you go on your knees and can confirmation comes like that, ah, you'll be able to continue to trust the Lord. Hear what he says. And my right hand has stretched out the heavens when i call to them they stand up together can you say like a singer who sang and said when he calls me i will answer when he calls me i will answer when he calls me i will answer i'll be somewhere Working for my Lord. Where are you working for your Lord? I can confidently say and sing and say, He has called me. I have answered. He has called me. I have answered. He has called me. I have answered. I am somewhere working for my lord as i'm giving you this word i am working for my lord this word may not benefit you now and i know some people get irritated by the messages i said but it is okay i don't blame you it may not be the your word for the time but please put it in in an archive where you can go back you know there is somebody Anyway, I like to share the, the, these experiences. Somebody really was irritated and told me not to be sending. And by mistake, I happened to said again. And I called and I apologized. I said, no, 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 Pastor Florence. This was, this, actually, this one was not a mistake. It came at the right time that I need, <laughs> needed it. Can you imagine if I feared to continue? If I were to listen to the discouragement that I get, I would not be doing it. But I know who has called me. I know who I am. I know whom I belong to. I know why I give this word. My brother, my sister, when God calls, he has already called by the way. Will you answer? Have you answered? Answer today. Tell him, I've wandered away from you, God, from your call. I'm coming back home. I'm coming back and he will revive you again. Even there is a song I have sung like that. It says, the Lord loves him. You know, verse 14, all of you assemble yourself and hear who among them has declared these things. The Lord loves him. The Lord loves you. The Lord loves me. The Lord loves us. Mm. I even have spoken. Yes, I have called him. I have brought him and his way will prosper. Hallelujah. You have been called. God has threatened a way for you, but he cannot take a step for you. God does not treat us like robots. He wants us to take a step as a sign of obedience. And you'll be surprised once you take a step what God will do. I did not know when I just started. I took a step and it continues. I don't struggle for these messages. People wonder why do I get it? I honestly, I cannot brag and say how I get it. It's just by the grace of God. He just dropped them in my spirit. But he does not just drop them when I'm there. I am. I have to be doing something. I have to be seeking his face. What am I saying? I'm not bragging myself. I'm telling you, you have to be in motion. It's like a car. Even if you have a Mercedes. Even if you have a Volvo. Mm. 
Even if you have a limousine, unless it, the ignition key is turned, it cannot take you from point A to point B. It's only when you put that ignition key, when you put the ignition key, you have to press uh, oh, the drive button so that you can move. You have to press the, 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 the drive button, the bright button of reading the word of God, seeing, you know, you know writing points, uh, doing a Bible study, oh, fellowshipping with other brethren because this issue of thinking that you can make it alone. No, that is not from God. And I can tell you, and I have shared this also in this book, that God wants us to walk in unity, in fellowship with others. That's why whenever he was creating, during the creation story, he would say, let there be, let there be, let there be. But when it came to a human being, and you are one of them, he said, let us. Who? It was him. God the Son and God the Spirit. As an example, you need other brethren. You need a fellowship of believers so that you can grow together. We are part and parcels of the same body. You are that part that will encourage somebody with a word, with a psalm, with a smile, with a shaking of hand. Even when this COVID is there, we must be very, very careful. COVID want, us to, want to get us out of the word of God because the word of God says, let us not neglect to meet together as is the habit of some. Do you know some people are not even going to church in person? They are go, go, uh, always going online. I also go online. I'm not blaming you. But what I'm saying, don't give COVID as a reason. There are masks. I'm, people say, I'm not going to put a mask in your, during the whole service. How about if you are working? And you have a whole eight shift and you can put on a mask and even a face shield and all those kind of things. May God help us. He has, when God calls, because God has called, let me say, because God has called, are you answering? Please, let us stop mark timing. I love you and God loves you the most. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I've given your word. Water it, my Father, that it may be a fruit of encouragement and equipping of your people. If there is any word that I have spoken out of the context that you wanted me to share, forgive me and filter it. That you only give your people what you wanted them to hear in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. You are there. You have been mark timing. You have been saying, I don't know what I've been called for. Just start saying, Jesus loves you. Three words. Jesus loves you. I'm saying, Hi. Make a, a, a ministry of, you know, there's somebody who likes to hug. And my, one of my sisters says she has the gift of hugging. You know, you, you will establish. How are you going to do it? You're going to do it by reading the word of God. Because the word of God is the light that will show you the way. If you're in that category, you want to pray this prayer after me. Lord God, I come before you. I repent for my mark timing. Help me to take a step, even if it's a baby step, and you walk with me to serve you in whichever area. Open my eyes that I may see all the fields that are ripe in, uh, around me. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And then the one, the other one, I'm praying a lot of prayers today for you to trust the Lord. You want to say this prayer after me, Lord Jesus, I come before you. I repent of my sins. Write my name in the book of life and give me a desire to grow spiritually. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you've been transformed. The old is gone and the new has come. Start walking in the newness of life. Look for that body of believers, a fellowship that teaches the word of God without compromise for your spiritual growth. May the Lord bless you. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Celebrate your moment with joy. Also, for my music, you can get it, which is powered by Noel. If you want one song, that's okay. Whichever or language you'll choose and the Lord will bless you. I, may you remember to celebrate every moment with joy because every moment you are breathing in and breathe out, count and it matters. Thank you.